In commercial aviation, an aircraft is not permitted to commence a flight without a transponder. If your transponder fails and cannot be repaired before flight, ATC approval must be granted before you may continue. You must amend your flight plan to record that you do not have a transponder and you must accept any ATC instructions given to you if you are allowed to continue. A serviceable transponder is to be operated at all times whilst you are airborne, regardless of where you are, and unless you receive contrary instructions or have an emergency, you are to display Mode Alpha 2000. Mode Charlie should be on when fitted, and all heights should be referred to the nearest 100 feet, as indicated on the altimeter. The following codes have special meanings, and should be used when necessary. Pilots of aircraft engaged in international civil aviation equipped with a Mode S transponder are required to have an aircraft identification feature. This setting shall correspond to the identification specified in the flight plan, or, if no flight plan has been submitted, then it will correspond to the aircraft's registration. Should transponder failure occur, then ATC will endeavour to facilitate the flight as best they can, in accordance with the submitted flight plan. The pilot must comply with their instructions in view of the failure. If the transponder fails and cannot be restored before departure, the pilot shall inform ATS as soon as possible, but preferably before submission of his flight plan. In the SSR line of the flight plan form, insert the letter N for complete failure or the appropriate code indicating the remaining capability. Comply with any published procedures seeking exemption from the requirement to carry a working transponder. If directed by ATC, proceed to the nearest aerodrome where the equipment can be repaired. In the case of inaccurate Mode C information being received, if directed by ATC, squawk Mode Alpha 0000 to indicate that your transponder information is inaccurate. SSR phraseology has developed as the equipment has been developed. Derived from military friend or foe equipment, the word parrot was used to describe the transponder. Thus, to operate the equipment was called to squawk it. Squawk ident or squawk alpha or squawk charlie is to operate the equipment with those switch selections made. Before adjusting the transponder controls, pilots will always read back the mode and code to the ATC controller. Information provided by the Airborne Collision Avoidance System, ACAS, is intended to assist pilots in the safe operation of the aeroplane by increasing their situational awareness. ACAS indications are designed to assist pilots in the active search for the visual acquisition of any conflicting traffic and the avoidance of collisions. The indications generated by ACAS shall be used as follows. Pilots shall not manoeuvre their aeroplanes in response to traffic advisories only. In the event of a resolution advisory to alter your flight path, the search for the conflicting traffic shall include a visual scan of the airspace. Any changes in flight path shall be limited to the minimum necessary to comply with a resolution advisory. If a pilot deviates from an ATC instruction or clearance in response to an ACAS-generated resolution advisory, he is to promptly return to the terms of that instruction or clearance when the conflict is resolved. He is to notify ATC as soon as possible of the deviation, including its direction, and when the deviation ended.